Hello and welcome back to Cyberpunk Adventure Snatcher. When we last left off, we we did a lot of reading. Oh god, we did so, so much reading. Hmm. Let's see, before we uh, continue on, let's go back to looking at Jordan. Please insert your ID card. Use card. User confirmed as Gillian Seed. Sort of information, load ID file, enter name, and what we are going to want to do is look up Katrina because, well, Gillian's a pervert and we're going over to her house to tell him that, you know, her dad is dead. Katrina Gibson, age 18, weight, or height 160 centimeters, weight 43 kilograms, blood type O negative, O, oh, universal donor. Only daughter of John Jack Gibson, won Miss 17 contest in 2046, currently a popular model in holographic advertisement. Dislikes, identifiable by a heart-shaped birthmark on her inner thigh. Hmm. Let me just see if you put yourself in this. Okay, you didn't. Oh, you did. Hideo Kojima. Birthday, uh, 8-24-1963. Zodiac Sand, Virgo. Blood type, A. Personality, third generation family man. Nickname, Ojima. Favorite game, Zapinka. Message, Snatcher has crossed the sea. Hope you all enjoy it a lot. Thank you for using, Jordan. Look forward to our next session together. All right, let's go back to use Metal Gear, video phone. All right, let's use the video phone. Ask Metal for a number and for Napoleon. What was Napoleon's video phone number? It's 395644. What number should I deal? Ah. Uh, should have that saved. What? You again? Sorry, you prefer a woman, I suppose. Whatever. Anyway, how about giving me the password? The 100 day... Please input using the cursor. Answer. So, we looked it up, and I guess at some point it mentioned a... Re 100 day rain. Okay, you seem pretty real to me. Meet me at Elton Plaza in EXG District. I'll see you there. Still, how did you figure it out? Hey, I guess I just know my stuff. Someone must have told you. Come on, Metal. It really doesn't matter, does it? Now what are you going to do? Well... Go call. Where shall we go? Yes, we're gonna head off to the front. Hi, Gillian. How's the investigation going? Oh, hey. Um. Ask about uh, Napoleon. Yeah. Well, I've heard about him, but I've never met him. Why don't you arrange to meet him? You may know something. Yeah, we, we did. Killian, please help her out as much as you can, okay? Alright. That informant, Sheen, was using must know something. Who, Napoleon? Yeah, you're right. He may know. Yeah, you're right. He may know. Let's see here. Enter turbo cycle. Mika, I'm heading out to check on a few things. Got a couple leads. 
Really, don't worry yourself over Sean, okay? Thanks, Mika. Gillian? Yeah, Mika? How are you and your wife doing? I haven't talked to her in a while. Not even on the video phone? No. Shouldn't leave her alone like that. That's right. Come to think of it, I have her number written down at home. I bet she's pretty lonely. I'm sure you're right. Thanks. Be careful, Gillian. Hmm. We boarded the turbo cycle. Where would you like to go? I guess we can head back to our apartment and call our wife. That would be, you know, ideal. Alright, now heading to your apartment. Short trip. We've arrived at your apartment. Well, let's exit. This is your apartment building, Gillian. Wow, you mean I have a place to live too? Please tone it down, Gillian. I know you have lost your memory, but isn't that carrying the act a bit too far? Just trying to make things a little more fun for the folks playing the game. Uh, apartment building? This is the apartment building the government made available for you. The neighborhood's not much, but what a great looking building. Eh? Right on the border between the north and south regions of the city. It's not exactly what you call the best neighborhood. Can't complain though, rent is really high even around here. Same thing. Also, I see a silhouette in the uh, window, um, second to the bottom there, on the left-hand side. Investigate. It's a 20th century construction, but the building has been completely renovated. Yeah, but I can still hear my next-door neighbors all the time. They are loud. Being right at the dividing line between north and south regions, the population here is not particularly high. No convenience stores or delis in the area either. Shopping is really a pain. Well, let's go inside. This is your living room. You should know this already. For a widower, the room seems rather tidy. I'm quite impressed. Don't you ever shut up. Aren't you programmed to evaluate my personal life, too? My duty is to support you and observe you are properly carrying out your responsibilities as a junker. Some observer. You mean informer, right? Well, one could put it that way. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. Look around the room. I see nothing noteworthy here. Well, geez, I'm sorry I lead such an ordinary life. Please do not get upset. You know that's not what I mean. Nothing unusual. Everything in its place. How can you know that? I was provided with the complete data files on your apartment. I see nothing noteworthy here. Gillian, there's a photograph on the shelf. Yeah, it's a very special picture for me. There is nothing else on the shelf, aside from a bottle of vodka, a bottle of Jägermeister, and a clock. There is a single sofa bed. Overall, it's a rather spartan and bland room. Yeah, I haven't time to go shopping yet, alright? Or the money. Just the right amount of space for someone living alone. It's a picture of Jamie. Oh yeah, the wife you are separated. Oh. Ah yes, the wife you are separated from. She is quite a, very attractive. Come to think of it, I wrote Jamie's video phone number on the back of the picture. Seems to be a picture of her when she was rather young, but I can't. Or seems to be a picture of her when she was rather young, but I can't remember when it was taken. She is very young in this picture, perhaps in her teens. She still looks like such a little girl. 
Come to think of it, Rome gave me this video phone number on the back of the picture. Picture of Jamie. I guess you want me to investigate it. Investigate around her. Now, interest in women, that is most unfortunate. You shut up! I can't believe I'm hearing this from a robot. Ah, uh, yes. I sense the sorrow of the lonely man. Gillian. See, still, there must be some reason why this fellow is living alone, even though he is over 30. This'll work up just fine. You're gonna be doing the housework from here on out. What? Did you say something? What a wonderful apartment you have here. Ah, yes. That's far the lonely man. Blah, 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 blah. There's nothing unusual here. In fact, it's downright dull. Of course it is. My apartment. I lead a very dreary life. Read no motion. There is no one here besides us. There are some numbers written on the back. 39, 3444. It seems to be a video phone number. Yeah, it's a number for Jamie's apartment. Why don't you try giving her a call? Would you let me handle my own personal life? It's an interesting photograph of the kind seen in the latter part of last century. Based on analysis of the ink and chemical structure of the developers, I would say it is at least 30 years old. Let's see now. Jamie's number was 393444. Gillian, why don't you give your wife a call once in a while? This appears to be the logo of the Moscow Olympics. Wait a minute. Last time the Olympics were in Moscow was way back in... Well, before the catastrophe. It was at the end of the last century, wasn't it? This photograph appears to be a composite. Composite? You mean someone made it? It seems unnatural, somehow. 30 years ago. Composite. Metal Gear. And at the Moscow Olympics on top of that. Perhaps this has something to do with her past. Why would anyone make a composite photo? I don't understand. Please take good care of that picture. Well, let's see here. Turn on the video phone. Let's use some FaceTime. What number should I dial? Nine three four four four. Oh. Oh, is that you, Gillian? I was just getting to sleep. Uh, let, let's um talk. How you doing? Jamie, I'm not sure how to say this, but I really want to make up with you. I want to try again. Please don't say that, Gillian. Right now, I think the two of us are better off apart. I'm sure of it. I don't care if my memory comes back or not. I just want a second chance with you, Jamie. Gillian, I'm just so sick of our hurting each other. Memories are important for my couple. For any couple, I can't handle a life of lies. Jamie, we can make our own memories together. Wait, Gillian. I don't know about this right now. Okay, let's talk about her job. Looks like this junker business is more dangerous than I thought it would be. Gillian? But it's still not as bad as boot camp. I'm a lot more relaxed working like this as a junker. Aren't you pushing yourself too hard? Well, it's pretty scary sometimes, but now I've got a definite goal. Something to look for. I was really surprised when I heard you become a junker. I'm sorry. It's really hard for me to try to tell you. That's alright. Besides, we can live near each other. We can meet anytime. Call me if anything comes up, okay? Alright. You know, I figured us, er, this out after becoming a junker. There's a snatcher inside every one of us. Oh? I think it's our own doubts and suspicions which create them. You may be right. If we all just trusted one another, we could probably drive them out. Well, of course, trust in itself breeds suspicion. Junkers shouldn't let themselves get so emotional. I suppose you're right. Take care, Gillian. Oh no, I still want to talk. Jamie, you should probably stay indoors at night. That's when snatchers are most active. It's dangerous. I'll be fine, Gillian. Why would they ever go after me? They only want VIPs, right? 
I never heard that kind of talk from anybody else, never even seen one of those things either. Trust me, there are snatchers in the city. You just don't notice them. That's their plan. Uh-huh. That's really frightening. If what you say is true, then you couldn't trust anybody, can you? It would be even worse than the STBO scare. They exist, Jamie. That's why I'm a junker, like I said. Uh-huh. Ask, how are you doing? So how are you doing? Getting by all right. How about you, Gillian? Are you eating properly? Yeah, I'm doing okay. I miss your great paschetti, though. Paschetti. Oh, that's cute. You still call it that. <sighs> Same as always. Cute myself. Busy so loneliness doesn't have time to sink in. Staying busy at work really helps me. The days pass quickly that way. How's your job going? Still working at Kobe Pharmaceuticals? Yes, the work really suits me. I feel as if I've been doing it for years. Interesting. I'm surprised how you keep up in such a technical field. It surprises even me. Guess I still remember some of what I used to know. Hoping that this job may help bring my memory back. Oh, sorry, that's her. Hoping this doing this job may help bring my memory back. Any sign of your memory may be coming back? I'm afraid not. I can't remember anything about living together with you or having fun together. What about you, Gillian? Yeah, it's the same for me. I can't remember anything before I woke up in that bed in the army hospital. I guess it's gonna take some time. I suppose the key is to keep working at this job and see what happens. Guess it's gonna take some time. Uh, is anything funny happened to you lately? Gillian, if I was a snatcher, could you kill me? Why are you asking me questions like that? Well? Oh no, I really don't. I've always liked that part of your personality, but Gillian, be careful. It could get you killed that job you're doing. Well, I have too, but everyone's been treating it like UFOs or Loch Ness Monster. No one believes it. They say it's just the creation of the mass media. Eh, maybe it's better they think that. Oh, I'm sorry. After all, you are a junker, aren't you? Killian, I'm really sorry, but I have to hang up now. Sorry. Yeah, I wonder if you only get so many times to talk with her. But, let's see here. Yeah, we can enter the bathroom. We are in the bathroom. Well, let's take a look around. It appears to be a standard bathroom. Low cost, energy conserving, unit type sink, and shower has been installed. Low cost, well excuse me. Here's a better stand. There's a bottle of perfume and a razor. Hmm. There's a small sterilizing unit and a hand dryer. Same thing. This toilet has the latest health pot TM fitness fit er, physical fitness analyzer installed. Wow, I didn't realize I had some of this stuff. I hadn't lived here very long, you know. It's... it's Jamie's favorite perfume. It's almost like her scent still lingers in the air. She'll be back someday, I promise you. If I could live with Jamie, I suppose I could put up with being your navigator for a while longer. Metal, you've got a good taste in women. Yes, it's the first thing we've agreed on anything. Perhaps. And of course, my taste in women was programmed from your personal data. If that's true, you should understand what I'm going through right now. Hmm? What's wrong, Metal? I just couldn't help but be overcome by how miserable your life is. Jeez, you and I are definitely not on the same wavelength. It's the latest micro laser feather type. 
Killian, why don't you try shaving? Investigate. There is a separate shower next to the bathtub. The floor and walls are all tile covered. Okay, nice. I see nothing out of the ordinary. The pipes aren't even clogged. Metal, would you stop being so bloody analytical all the time? I can't help it. After all, I am an analysis robot. <clears throat> The HealthBot Physical Fitness Analyzer is latest in health technology. When using the toilet, the system will measure and analyze your temperature, blood pressure, pulse, urine, and stool to create an instant profile of your current physical fitness level. Why do you think, Gillian? Why don't you try giving the HealthBot TM a try? This famous La Smell de la Mort. That's right, it's Jamie's favorite. Okay, same thing. This will give you the closest, most comfortable shave a man can experience. Well, let's do something. You can shave, I guess. Hey, I think I'll shave. Doesn't sound like a laser. Feel better now, Gillian? Yeah, and more handsome, too. Now there's no way... <laughs> this is supposed to be Jamie talking? Now there's no way Jamie will be able to resist me. I think that's Gillian. Now, of course, the punchline here comes to what she does to turn you down. Wait a minute. Maybe I should let my beard grow a bit, look a bit straggly. Try to appeal to her motherly instincts. You will just get yourself into trouble. Oh, Jamie. Does the scent remind you of her? Oh, uh, no, nothing. Oops, got, got a sentimental moment there. That's right. I uh, gotta do, er, had to go for some time now. Uh, Metal, would you excuse me? Oh, that's much better. Gillian, according to the health bot system, you are exceptionally healthy. Good, I've still got a lot I want to do. Um, and with that, uh, we're going to call this an episode of Snatcher. When we come back, well, eventually we'll be heading to Gibson's house, and eventually going to meet up with Napoleon. Have a good one, folks. <laughs>